Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, I know what's going on in the world right now uh, can seem a little bit daunting, a little bit scary, and lots of people are self-isolating at home or social distancing, and sometimes you can run out of things to do and you can feel a little bit down on yourself. Well, I'm hoping to do a series of home workouts that I've been doing to try and help boost a little bit of morale, a little bit of spirit, because if you can just move a little bit, even if you're inside, and these workouts are gonna only be 10 minutes. So if you can manage to do 10 minutes of movement and 10 minutes of exercise each day, it's going to make you feel so much better and give you more energy and hopefully a more positive outlook. So I'm gonna run through some exercises today. There's gonna be five exercises. We're gonna do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, a minute rest, and then we're gonna do it again. So I'm in my front room doing this workout and I hope you're gonna join me too. So. Here goes. So the first exercise we're gonna do a rear foot elevated split squat. So what we're gonna do, put our back leg back onto your sofa and just go up and down. Nice and slow, controlled. Okay. Making sure that your knee stays in line with your foot. With a little bit of stretch in your hip, that's a good one for your legs. And then we're going to switch sides and do the same thing. Just up and down, nice straight line, making sure your knee stays over your toes. And then we go up and down. We're nearly there through the first exercise. There we go. And now the next thing we're going to do, squat jump walkouts. So we're in the rest period now. What we're going to do is we're going to jump up, down, Walk all the way out, walk all the way back, and jump again. So, get ready for your next 40 second effort. You're gonna take these 20 seconds and do what you need to do to make sure you are recovered. Here we go. Walk it out, back up, squat jump. Back out, up, jump. Back out, up, jump. You can go at your own pace with these. If you need to go a little bit slower, Go a little bit slower. So if you can go faster, go faster. The faster you do it, or the more you put into the workout, the more you're going to get out. Nice big jumps. Walking out, making sure you're nice and long. And back down. Try not to go out here with your bum up or your hips down. Just keep going through. So you can get one more in, and rest. Whoop! Heart rate should be elevated by now. Next thing we're going to do, some sumo squat pulses. So we're going to go out nice and wide with our legs, feet turned out, and we're just going to go down and stay down and pulse. Great for your inner thigh, your glutes, your legs, everything. It's going to burn a lot of calories. Here we go. Pulsing down here. If you need a break, come up and do some regular ones. But if you can stay down there, it's going to really work your legs, really work your glutes. So just keep pulsing. You're gonna feel quite a deep burn. Some people might feel a bit of a stretch. Go as low as you can, making sure you're staying good with your form. You wanna try and be as upright as possible when you're going down. Ooh, the legs are burning. It's all good. There we go, okay. So now rest again. The next exercise, what we're going to do is a press up with a scrap retraction. So you're going to go down in your press up, come back up, and then a shoulder stroke. Back down, shoulder stroke. I'll show you down on the floor because we're about to go for our next effort. Here we go. Press up, scap. Press up, scap. Press up, shoulders. And you're going to keep going like this. If it's a little bit difficult for you, come down onto your knees and you can do some from your knees. But if you can stay up on your feet, great. Try and keep a nice long line between your feet and your head. Here we go. Keep pushing, we're nearly there. Yeah. <laughs> can you hear Robbie downstairs making animal noises? Oh, and we are done. So we've got the next thing we're going to do, alternating V-sits. So we're going to be on our backs, on the floor, and you're going to go from here, up like this, 
and alternate. If you can't do it with straight legs, do it with bent legs. So you can modify in two different ways. Here we go. So, I'm gonna do it with straight legs. As this is part of my workout. Here we go. If you exhale on the way up, and inhale on the way down. Can help you carry your body with your breath. And don't get me wrong, this is burning every single part of my body right now. So if you're feeling that, feel it, embrace it, push through it, because we're nearly done with the first round. And rest. There we go. So, gonna have a minute's rest before we go through it again. But this workout is kind of targets so many different things. The split squats are gonna get your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, and it works on your stability a little bit. If you can't do it with your foot elevated, you can just do it on the spot like this. But just trying to work a little bit that split stance can really help. Um, but yeah, we're hitting all the different parts of our body, abs arms, shoulders, chest, legs, glutes, you name it. And it's only gonna take 10 minutes of work. So we're nearly there. We're gonna get ready to go in for round number two. And if there are any workouts you want me to do and target specific areas, let me know in the comments. And I'll do my best because, you know, we're gonna have a lot more time on our hands now, so I can help you out with that at least. Right, let me set my timer to get ready to go again. And here, okay. So I'm gonna be counting down for 10 seconds. Gonna go back to those rear foot elevated squats. Here we go. And three, two, one, go. Nice and steady. If you could go faster for you, great. But just try and keep it at a nice steady pace so you can keep going and keep pushing. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, switch sides. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Keep going. Got 10 seconds left. Down, up, down, up. And I know I've got my shoes on the sofa. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so 20 seconds rest. Going in for our next exercise, which is going to be the squat jump walkouts. Done them before. If you're finding it difficult to do the jump, you can just squat and then walk out. So just modify it to you and what feels good. Whew. Deep breath before we go in. Here we go. And squat jump, walk it out. Back in, jump. Back out, in, jump. Out, in, jump. Again, you can pace this however you like. If you like going a bit faster, it's going to be a bit more cardio, but just make sure you do the proper form to get the most out of the workout. Keep pushing. We are nearly there. Out, in, up, rest. 20 seconds of rest to go here before we go in with our sumo squat pulses. These always get me because working your legs are the biggest muscle in your body, so they're gonna be burning the most calories. So it's gonna help burn a little bit of fat. So these kind of workouts are ideal just to do at home. And only 10 minutes. Here we go. Squat pulses. Stay down there. Nice and low. Good slow, controlled. Just feel the burn. It's all part of it. You got it. Burn, feel it on your inner thighs, feel it in your quads, feel it in your glutes. You might be heart rate elevated, you'll start sweating, but it's all worth it. You can get the results that you want while we're in isolation or social distancing. Rest, 20 seconds rest. Don't know about you, but my booty on fire. Um, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna down on the floor, arms again. So we're gonna do our press ups with a little bit of a shoulder shrug. Get down and get ready. Again, if you need to go onto your knees, get on your knees. Never been shy about getting on the knees. 
if I didn't need to. Um, I am going to do press up, scat retraction. Press up, scat retraction. 40 seconds. This is going to be a bit tough, but push for as long as you can. If you need to come down onto your knees, do so. But try and keep working those reps. Go as fast or as slow as you need to go, but keep moving in these 40 second efforts. You have 20 seconds to recover at the end of each one. You can do it. Down, up. Down, up. Down, one more. There we go. Okay, 20 seconds rest. Going into our final exercise, just going to be alternating V sits on our back, legs alternating, as well as our arms and upper body alternating. Again, I'm doing these with straight legs, but you can do them with bent legs, whatever you can manage. Here we go. Go up. It's the last thing. So, we're nearly there. And then you've done 10 minutes of movement, working out, which can set you up for the day. Whether you do this in the morning, the lunchtime, in the evening, just get it done. You'll feel so much better. Nobody ever regrets a workout. You'll feel energized, so just keep pushing, and you'll feel great afterwards. Trust me. And rest. Woo! There we have it. That's our workout. We've done 10 sets of exercises. We've done five exercises. All of the exercises will be in the description below. So give it a go, share it with a friend. If you need a workout buddy to do it with, do it at the same time. Get yourself on FaceTime, get the workout up on the TV and just give it a go because, you know, we can still stay active at home. We don't need any equipment. I mean, I've got a yoga mat. You can use a towel, whatever you need to get the workout done. Now, as you can hear, I'm out of breath. God, my legs are jelly, but to me, that was totally worth every single second. So, hope you enjoyed that workout. I'm gonna hopefully do some more very soon. But in the meantime, peace, love, and make sure that you look after everyone in your family. Be sensible, be safe. We love you. See you soon.